Uh, let me be a little bit taller. This one's a little short. There we go. Anyways, <clears throat> time for Bus and Bussy. This is your local news update. I'm your baby daddy. Things have not been the same in the big city since the start of the annual Turkey Jerk. <laughs> Basically an event where we jerk your turkey, if you get what I mean. Those who have attended have announced the Fiat Cat, the organizer, calling them you're calling them a boring doofus. Just boring. For more on this, we go to Alan Longstreet, who I affectionately refer to as Scrody McBoogerballs. <clears throat> hey, uh, Scrody, uh, can you hear me? What can you tell us about the people's reaction to the annual Turkey Jerk event? As I try to load your avatar real quick. There you go. Yes, I can hear you. And what have, what have I told you about calling me Scrody McBoogerballs? What the uh, fuck, you news anchor? Uh, that you prefer it to the other nickname that I gave you about six years ago? Oh god, I think you crashed. Oh god. I'm uber afraid now. Okay, Faden, come back, come back. God, killing me right now. Are you back? Are you back? Is Give okay. me a minute. True, however, I would still like you to please quit before our viewers at home get the wrong idea. Anyway, the annual turkey jerk, We Jerk Your Turkey, has resulted in mixed opinions. So many have called the organizer just boring and you're a doofus. One person has said it's celebration of the ages. Are you at liberty to disclose the name of this person? I believe their name was Fiat Cock. Ah, thank you, Gro uh, thank you, Scrooty McBooger Balls, and uh, good work out there. In other news, insider what information. Did I just fucking tell you. Please, we'll deal with this later. In other news, insider information has been leaked, stating that Fiat Cock is indeed a liar. Breaking news, we have it on good authority. Gilbert Gottfried, the partner of Fiat Cock, was seen setting fire to Fiat's house. Uh, for more details, we now go live to the whitest field reporting bitch on staff, Alan Longstreet, who ran across town to be on the scene. <laughs> yep. That's worse than Scrody McBugger balls. <laughs> what happened to telling me to changing it up? <laughs> Gilbert Godfrey was just spotted fleeting the scene of the crime here at the house of Fat Cock. Eyewitnesses claim Gilbert Godfrey was screaming that they saw on the news that Fat Cock has always been a liar and can no longer trust them. Though I would never jump to conclusions. This humble reporter can clearly state that your baby daddy might be to blame. Back to you, your baby daddy. Well, whoever your baby daddy might be, I hope they sleep well tonight knowing they ruin a life other than their own. Wait. I, for one, know I will. And that's the news. I've been your host, your baby daddy. Oh, fuck. I love how optimized this world is, but it's also so horrifically unoptimized. Nah. It's like really weird. Yeah, that's a lot of worlds, really. <laughs> 